Yo, 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 welcome to Spooky TV. So the war, the beef between NBA Youngboy and OTF, you know what I mean, the old O Black family, has intensified after Little Dirk decided to release a song called Ahaha, ha, ha, which took some shots at NBA Youngboy, alleging that he pulled up and, you know what I mean, he didn't get the guy that he went for. And when I say a guy, I mean Lil Tim, because of course, you know that Lil Tim is responsible for killing um, uh, King Vaughn in self-defense you know what i mean so he's basically saying i pulled up to the block for revenge but we didn't get the guy we wanted but we took some people from you and you know this the police might not know it but you know this you know these guys are known for self-snitching on themselves you know what i mean so nba young boy wasted no time he responded with a song called i ate nba young boy and trust me like he went in on this dude like crazy he disrespected little dark's girlfriend he disrespected little baby he disrespected boosie gucci man because gucci man recently recorded a song with little dark and so young boy is basically saying that anybody who sides with you i'm not fucking with them fuck all of y'all fuck the entire industry this man even disrespected the uh this man even disrespected YouTube and other streaming platforms, you know what I mean? Because as you know that YouTube has been fighting against this man and has been, uh, you know, they have been backpedaling most of his streaming, you know what I mean? They have also stopped him from uploading songs at particular times. And so NBA young boys letting everything be known that, hey, fuck the entire industry. If you fuck with them, you are against me and I'm against you, you know what I mean? He also disrespected Boosie. I'm not sure where this is coming from, maybe some other street shit that we're not privy to, but as far as I know, they were cool at one point and even had a mixtape together, which I was looking forward to. So I guess we can kiss that Boosie and NBA young boy. Uh, mixtape goodbye before we even get a chance to listen to it and i was really looking forward to hear that now based on this nba young boy song i would say nba young boy is leading thus far you know what i mean he went hard you know what i mean he went straight for the juggler whereas little dirk was basically just being subliminal as usual you know he has a pattern of you know throwing hints you know kind of like what jay-z does those sort of this is you know kind of those type of subliminal type of this is i don't really like subliminal this is i like when you go straight for the juggler so i'm gonna say that nba young boy is leading thus far however little dirk song is definitely a good song you can definitely get jiggy to little dirk song but because of the way uh nba young boy uh -huh. came back it's like when someone you know punches you and is expecting you to punch back but you you pull for the hammer and you release <laughs> you know what i mean you release a fury of pellets in the stomach you know what i mean not punches pellets you get me so that is that it's like you took a gun to a knife fight and so basically nba young boy is basically leaving the beef right now and let's see what is going to be the response of little dirk i just hope this stays completely on wax you know what i mean because this generation is known to be very violent you know what i mean and many of these uh artists they are not uh releasing these songs which are purely uh based on lyrics and music and who is most lyrical who has the most bars who has the better flow who has the most creativity this generation does not give a fuck as a matter of fact this generation is not even that good you know what i mean they they don't take pride in being backpack rappers you know what i mean so they take more pride in who is realer you know what i mean it's not about who raps better it's who is willing and able to do some real straight shit and so i hope this time like we don't really see that i hope it stays on wax you know what i mean i hope both artists spend time and croon their songs you know what i mean and not try to fight it out i mean if you want to fight there are platforms to do that such as thriller you know what i mean celebrity boxing you know what i mean there are avenues to do that but as it relates to going in the streets and killing each other you know what i mean leaving kids fatherless you know mothers without their sons uh -huh. families in grief i can't really support shit like that you know what i mean that's coonery so i would advise i know that blood blood has already been drawn you know what i mean and so most people feel like well the eye for an eye strategy is the best way to go you know what i mean but i would advise both of these dudes to basically refrain from taking it to that level you know what i mean air it out and may the best artists win this beef based on lyrics you know what i mean i know you can hear the vehicles in the background but this was so hot i honestly couldn't wait you know what i mean to give my two cents on it so i just want both of these artists and their camps to keep it on wax keep it on plastic you know what i mean keep it in the studio no need to prove who is the better person who is the most gangster who is the realest nigga you know what i mean no need for all of that bullshit keep it musical and at the end of the day little dirk and nba young boy they have the money to protect themselves and to say and to stay safe and stay out of arms way you know what i mean but a lot of the persons who are involved with these dudes the entourage members you know you're the ones who are going to die nobody's going to remember you nobody's going to be able to take care of your families and all of that because you don't have the, the, the resources to still to pass on you know money or generational wealth 
to your family you know what i mean so it doesn't make sense to shed blood over something like this over some hole some thoughts because at the end of this the day this entire debacle started over a thought you get what i'm saying so it's not worth it it's not worth it we already lost king vaughn over that thought it's not worthwhile you know what i mean one of the popular gangs that is in california right now the entire beef in that gang started because of a woman because of a chick you know what i mean and right even today there's a big gang warfare all because of that woman you know so we don't want to encourage another long-standing beef which was, which was rooted in the pum pum in the vagina you know what i mean pum pum vagina punani pussy is not worth all of that you know sacrifice you know sacrificing your life your kids family time etc it's not worth it you know what i mean so i would definitely advise y'all to just keep it on wax you know what i mean and uh good song by nba young boy good song by lil dirk but keep it on wax i'm out